And we'd like you to say a few comments to everybody. Well, the ladies first. Come on, Teresa. Well, thank you all very much. It is really such an honor to be here, Carol, with all you do in the Columbus Times. And I reiterate what Pop said because it's so true. There's always a wonderful, positive message of what's being accomplished in this community. And our community is so very broad. And I think that's one of the things this mayoral election is, is showing to everybody in Columbus, Georgia, is this is not the same old Columbus that maybe we've become a little too used to. Uh, this election is proving that this community is very, very broad indeed. And, uh, and, and it will never be the same after this, I can guarantee you that. Let me say this, when I'm in the midst of people like Carol, of course, and Pops, and those who are up here, Marvin, who not only gives back like some of the others, but actually was giving blood the last time I saw him, and <laughs> rounding up other people to give blood because we were in a donor's crisis. But, uh, but let me say, the Lord uses us as his vessel here on earth. We are his tools to give back. And when he gives us certain blessings that we are able to, I practiced law for 16 years, I've owned three businesses, I've worked with the city on projects, and I've fought them too when I had to, I had enough pops. I've fought them when I had to for the people of, of Columbus. I've gained experience through all that. And it's time for me to give back. It's time for me to give back. That's why I'm running for mayor. And so I appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. I know you didn't come to hear a big political speech, but let me tell you, I'm serious about this. I've renegotiated three road projects for the city of Columbus, preventing them from taking people's homes, even churches and small businesses. We can do government better. We can do government better and make it work for everybody in this room and everybody throughout all of Columbus, regardless of what area of Columbus you live in. So I thank you for your time. I've left information on your table. As I've told you all, it has my cell phone number on it because you will have access to your next mayor. It, you, you, you can't avoid If you've got a problem, the only way to deal with it is to get to it. Avoiding it ain't going to do anybody any good. So I, I'm a, I'm a result-oriented person. I'm a pragmatic government person. And I tell you this, you'll have direct access to me and we will deal with the issues we need to deal with. So thank you all very, very much. I'd be honored to have your vote. And now, as you said, ladies first.